surprise one? Gotta correct myself. Surprise no one caught this. Here's the right way to say it. I promise. If the wind direction shifts clockwise, say from out of the south to out of the west, the wind is said to be veering. If the wind shifts from out of the south to out of the east, the wind is said to be backing. Yesterday, my writing flipped in one place, but I forgot to flip it in another. Uh, why does veering and backing jargon matter? Well, if you're a mariner listening on a staticky weather radio, you might not catch all the forecasts. So the more you know about what the language implies, the better. And it matters for alpinists too, but since I've confused you already, I'm not going to go there. If you're really interested, read up on something known as the thermal wind. Here's the picker. Skunked through Saturday and right through next Wednesday. Uh, that's the sign of the Powderhound's devil, and a son of a ridge it is. Inversion aloft developing Wednesday, with the temp at 3,000 meters higher than the temp at Pig Alley in red. And the rapid freeze-up seems a day later compared to yesterday, but I'm not going to change the frope, I guess, yet. That's the Arctic Frontal Passage. These things can bounce around quite a bit this far out, so we stick with Saturday morning. In any case, the low-level wind I chose yesterday still shows an increase Saturday, and the pressure bottoms out just after noon. Good enough for now. A rookie might start betting on a later fropa, but not this cowboy. I've done enough flipping and flopping on medium-range forecasts to last a lifetime. Trust me. Here's that ridge-flattening wave yesterday morning. Watch as a great green bulge rebuilds northwards offshore. One more time. Okay, let's geek out. Here's an atmospheric temperature profile for tomorrow morning. This is the model ground, and this is 3K, or 3,000 meters above sea level. The red line is the temperature, and the green line is the dew point. This pointy part of the red line is the top of a temperature inversion, where the temperature increases with elevation instead of the usual decrease. Today, there was a lot of low clouds, Harvey's clouds if you like, in the valley, so there's already moisture there. Tomorrow's low clouds will be capped by this inversion and probably more widespread and persistent. The inversion is not going to break all day. The public forecast for the valley from this morning says clearing tomorrow morning. With an inversion like that and no flow, eh, we'll see about that. Cheerio!